Welcome, my fellow geeks, to another edition of Frightful Friday Night. Friday Night Features, where I'm going to do a review of the first Omen movie. I don't think I've ever seen all of the first Omen. So when I... Saw this at the store right before Halloween or someplace. I got this and it has all three movies. Omen, Omen 2, and Omen 3. Not quite sure what this one is. But it's 1, 2, and 3. Uh, the first movie... Covers the birth of the Omen. So you have an American ambassador in, I think it was in England or something. And that American ambassador, uh, Gregory Peck, whose wife is pregnant. And I think that's. Why well, don't I want to say Piper Laurie? Um, let's see, what is... Uh, Lee Remick, that's what it is. Uh, she has the baby, who then dies at childbirth. And then a priest comes along and says, Hey, look, we just had this baby whose mother died in childbirth, why don't we give you this baby? You can uh, raise it, and your wife doesn't need to know the difference. And in a moment of weakness, he says, sure. And then he gets uh, transferred to, I think it's Rome. Anyway, jump ahead five years, and they've got, you know position, they're doing doing their stuff, and uh, just things go a little, start going a little weird. They've got a, a birthday party, uh, where the nanny, and I'm sure we've all, you may have all seen this before, uh, is up on third floor of their mansion and says, this is for you, Damien, and jumps off and hangs herself. Uh, you've got these big dogs hanging around and then a new nanny that shows up who is very kind of evil and stuff. And then you, you begin to find out that there's just some creepy, creepy, creepy stuff going on. And then you have a priest who comes up and says, hey, this, there's something wrong with this child. He's evil. And there is a reporter played by Damien, uh, Damien, um, Warner, David Warner, I think is his name, of uh, this, and he played two Star Trek movies, uh, who has been doing some research and he's convinced that this child is the Antichrist. And they sort of convince, convinces him to go and look. And then you do find out he is the Antichrist. And they go and try and deal with the child being the Antichrist. Now, I'm not going to tell you how it ended, even though it is an old movie. So there might be some of you who haven't seen it yet. But I was kind of surprised. Surprised, you know, okay, there's two and three, so how are they going to, you know, uh, how are they going to explain having a two and three? <sighs> Excuse me. Um, if the movie ends the way that I was thinking it was going to end. It didn't. And, uh, which is good. But one thing about this movie is just it's it's not like modern horror movies. It's more of a 
scary, underlying unease, kind of a let's, you know, everything seems fine at first and then things start coming up type of thing. Not, uh, not like the slasher movies that we have now or the, uh, torture porn and stuff like that. This is, it's kind of a slow burn up until the end and stuff. And it's just kind of a creepy, spooky type of horror movie as opposed to like a bloodbath. It was pretty good. And, you know, maybe not as, you know, because there are people who talk about how fantastic it was. It was, it was pretty good. I just don't think it was as good great as everyone says it was but I I really you know I'm glad that I saw it and it was worth seeing and keeping in my collection and I can't wait to see two and three because I have seen little bits and clips and pieces of I think it's two but yeah I mean it's I if you are a horror aficionado you really should see this movie just because you need to. I mean, you need to see stuff like this. You need to see stuff like The Exorcist. You need to see, you know, some of these. And it's a good, it's worth your time. So I'm going to give this a 3.75 out of 5. And just say, watch it, kick back. Enjoy yourself. Get ready for you know. There's no. There's not. There's no ultra. There's no. Not a lot of. There's hardly any violence. Any you know. No. Uh, no blood. Anything like that. No nudity. But uh, it's so it's, it's more like I said. It's more of the old fashioned horror movie, where it's more you know, suspenseful and build up and stuff like that. So kick it back kick back and watch it and enjoy it because it's it's a classic and uh it will be worth your time anyway let me know in the comments below what you think of the movie if you've seen it and uh like subscribe most of all enjoy your horror movies